Hello viewers, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today we are going to learn about the next problem of projection of solid, that is the projection of cone. And the problem statement is like this: We have to draw the projection of cone of diameter 100 mm and height or axis length is even 150 mm. Okay, and it is rested on the generator in H. So we will try to sort out this particular problem statement. So what we are going to do? We are going to draw first the x y line ok then we are going to we will, uh, what we will do we will do the naming at the end because uh, the naming is of the new stand ok so I am going to draw one sub of uh, 100 mm and ok so if I am selecting 0.5 at the radius ok so this will be my uh, one auto carry net ok uh, circle Okay, so what I am going to do is I am going to increase the dimensions for your purpose okay, so that it should look good. So let us say uh, I am going to say 200 mm and this is basically 250 mm Okay, so, so that it, the figure will, will look good. Okay. Now I am going to draw one circle. Okay. Uh, basically. One on the calculated years, okay. So now you can check this is the spectral circle, okay. So I'm giving the dimensions, okay. So diameter is basically so I click on snap. So this is basically two auto cardinate, two auto cardinate means basically I'm going to see the line 200 mm, okay. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to divide this circle into equal parts, okay. From here, this is my one part, okay, and from here, this is my other part, okay. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw the vertical projectors, okay, on the x y line. Let's escape again from this particular point to so this particular point. Let's escape from this particular point to this particular point yes that's okay. now so this is basically my uh, the top view okay and that is true shape of the base now i have to draw the true shape of the uh, solid okay so the axis length is given how much to 50 mm so from this particular point i'm going to draw one axis of length 2.5 uh, auto carry okay so that is basically 250 What I'm going to do is I'm going to use that. Okay. So this is my another point. So you can give the naming for dimensions. Okay. So if you want to check whether it is 2.5 auto calculate or not, so this is basically 250 mm. Okay. And what I do is Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on ortho. I'm going to join this particular. Let's escape. Let's escape. Okay. Now for the timing, I can give the naming because the naming is now important to understand. Okay. So select any point here. So point two and rotation I will be zero. Okay. So now this is basically my A. This particular point is my B. This particular point is C, and this particular point is basically D. Okay. Here basically this is a dash or I can write down it aside uh, a dash okay this is basically c dash okay and if the center is basically o slash okay so this particular point is my p dash and this particular point is my o dash okay and apart from that here is basically b dash dash okay so what i'm going to do is basically now i'm going to uh, means convert this particular axis into uh, dash line okay uh, header line also you can say so 
let us check whether uh, this will work here or not yes it is working right so this is basically so, so what i am going to do is i am going to convert okay all the lines into dark color because i my operation of solid basically all the things should be in a dark color okay basically point three zero. so you can if you are not getting by selecting okay so what you can do basically you can click on lw okay similarly uh, this circle i'm going to convert it to point three zero because and the projection line i'm going to convert into cr now this is perfect okay now i have to what I have said and the axis is to triangle is rested on the generator on HP. So this basically OC dash, OA dash, right? OB dash, D dash, OD dash, these are the generators. So now what I need to do is I need to uh, rest this particular two shape of the solid or cone on XY, right? Uh, on the edge basically. So what I am going to do, so OA is basically generator is O dash, C dash. So I am going to rest it on HP. Okay, so how I am going to do that? What I am going to do? I am going to select this particular page. Okay, click on copy command. Okay, and now I am going to paste it. Okay, and basically I am going to put it here. Okay, for the example here. Right. So now what I am going to do is basically I have to rest this. Okay. So I am going to basically rotate this. I am going to select all the points. Okay, and then click on. Uh, rotate command along with this from the waist point I need to select and now I am going to uh, rotate it ok on the base so this is basically the corner ok so this is how I have uh, rotated ok so now I am going to move it So along O dash C dash I have listed this particular uh, figure. Okay, now what I'm going to do is basically I'm going to draw the vertical projectors. This is basically rotated. Now I'm going to draw the vertical projectors. So click on also so that you will get perpendicular direction from this particular point. From this particular point, so now I'm going to draw the projectors perpendicular projector direction. Directly from this particular point. So immediately I'm going to convert this particular projector line. Yeah. Make sure that all the projector lines are basically drawn. Okay. Now I'm going to mark the points. Okay. So this is O B line. Okay. So this is basically my uh, center line. Okay. So line. This is O line. Okay, and this is basically A dash line. Okay, so this is my A. This is B dash, D dash. Okay, so this is basically D dash. This is basically B dash, and this is basically C dash. Line. Okay. And now what I'm going to do is basically I'm going to join all the uh, lines. Okay, outer lines. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to because this is basically the ellipse. So I'm going to select the ellipse here. Okay. And I'm going to select this particular point and this particular point, and then I'm going to draw and place. Okay, and finally, I'm going to join this particular projector line. So, I'm clicking on Arco, press escape, and I'm making it zoom. So, from this particular point or this particular line. I am going to join this particular point 
okay that has escaped similarly from this particular point i am going to join this particular point okay and now i am going to convert all these outer dimensions into thick color okay point 3 at uh, okay so basically from here this particular uh, inner side of the base is invisible so what i am going to do is basically i am going to thin okay the inner part so i am going to try down the trim command and i am going to select the object okay entire object okay then press enter okay and now i am going to uh, delete this particular portion okay and here basically again i'm going to draw one ellipse okay to show the hidden lines okay so i'm going to select this particular point this particular point and now from this basically okay and now i'm going to convert this particular into hidden line and as well as the dimensions will be 0.3 and 0 okay so this is basically uh, the projection of cone right and now i'm going to make a detach okay Like any point on the screen, point two and this angle is zero. Okay. Now this particular point is my uh, C one, or I can write down little bit aside. C one. This particular point is my P one. This particular point is my D one. This particular point is my U one, and this is center is basically my P one, and this basically the top. view okay this is basically the true shape of the solid this is basically the true shape of the beams this is for your understanding okay and uh, this is true shape inclination okay either axis or anything will be given this is my x and y reference line okay this is my vp this is my front view My H P. This is my top. Okay, and here you can write down your name. So I'm writing my name. So I hope you understand this particular problem statement. Okay, and this is basically the solution for the projection of cone. Okay, in the next problem we are going to study the projection of cylinder. Okay, so do not uh, forget to practice at home. If you like this video, please like, share, and subscribe.